Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the resizable elements. So let's begin. In our previous tutorials, we learned to handle the drag and drop, mouse over and sliders using that actions change. So using same action change, we will be handling the resizable elements. So for this particular tutorial, I will be using this particular website. So let me copy the URL and open this into the browser and here so this element is resizable so you need to drag this one from the right bottom and you can see the size of this particular element okay now this is something which we need to handle using the selenium web driver and let's go to the pyjam here and let's start writing the code directly so let me create a new python file and i'm naming it as handling resizable element and the first thing is that we need a driver so simply i'll be writing here browser browser is equals to web driver web driver dot co and we need to import the web driver just hold on this one import this name and import the selenium dot web driver okay and once we have this web driver now let's maximize the browser so browser dot maximize window and after this we need to pass a url so the best practice is that we should create a variable and have this url over here and pass this variable into the browser dot get method okay so let me go here and copy this url from here and now let me paste it here now in browser dot get let's pass this variable okay so simply i'm passing this variable here and let's run this one and see either it's working fine or not so it should open the chrome browser it should maximize and it should open this website now it's working absolutely fine so far now we need this particular element which we need to resize okay and here the trick is that we need to grab this element from this particular point so we need to identify this corner okay so inspect element and here we need to inspect this corner okay and I'm using the selectors up here. So using that, I'm copying the relative x path from here. And now, um, again, I will be creating a variable, and I will be utilizing that variable. So resizable, resizable, resizable underscore element. And here I will be finding this particular element so browser dot find element by dot xpath and we need to import the by here and let me type it again and we need to provide the xpath here which we copied from the website now uh, once we have this one before i actually can resize this one what i need to do is that I need to get a size of this one because I need a size in terms of width and height so that I can ensure that the size of the element is actually getting changed. So what I will say is that initial initial underscore element underscore size is equals to let's find the box. For so browser dot find element and again i will be going with the x path here and now uh, this time basically i need to locate this particular whole box not this right corner only so this is a box and this is relative x bar so i need to ensure that what is the initial size and after resize what will be the size in terms of height and width okay so let me copy this one from here 
and let me paste it here. Now what I need to do is that let's find the you know initial height and width or the size. So I will say initial underscore size. So here equals to now using that initial variable dot so we have a web element and we have the size so we can use the size to get the height and width or the size of the web element okay and now let's uh, print this one and uh, see what happens so i will say initial initial size and uh, initial size comma and i will pass the variable okay and let's run this one and see what happens here so we need to ensure that it's basically giving me the height and width of this particular element right now okay so this is the initial height and width of this particular element now let me put time dot sleep and now i will create action chase object so action underscore chains equals to action chains and we need to pass a driver and we need to import this action chains here so using action chains dot we have a method called click and hold and because we are clicking on the bottom right option and clicking on this one and holding this one and then we are moving this one so we need to perform all these actions okay so let me go back here so click and hold and i need to pass this resizable element which is a corner thing and then i need to move this one so dot so move by offset and I'm giving x axis and y axis here in terms of the offset. So x offset is 100, and same goes for the y offset. Okay. And once I will do this, then I will release because eventually we need to release this one. And then finally, we need to perform this thing. Okay. And again, I will go with some time dot sleep and now what i will do is that i will create one more variable here and now this time we will be getting the size again and i will be saving that into another variable and here i will say the sized underscore element is equals to and here actually i need this variable called initial element size because here we named it a bit wrong here but that's okay so using this one again dot size we will get the size of this particular element again after resizing this one okay and now uh, i will print this one and this time i will say resized element and here I will pass the variable. So resized element. Okay. And then finally we will be closing or quitting the browser. So I will go with the quit here. And let's save this one. And now let's run this one and see what happens. So it should open the website. Now it should resize this element as well get the initial size and the size after you know resizing this element you see that the element got resized successfully and here you can see that we have the initial size in terms of height and width and then we have resized element in terms of height and width so in this way you can actually handle or resize the resizable elements using the 
synonym with python thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial